Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for his mercy endures forever. Hi, I'm Joanne Roberts Wilder, author, speaker, and most importantly, a woman of prayer. So today we are going to be talking about your attitude is your gratitude. But before we get into that, I want to read that to you. But before we get into that, I want to briefly mention about my website. Of course, I will put the link at the in the description box but it's look within by jrw.com now if you see some shirts there that is not the color that you see there just send me a quick email and ask me do i have that color in stock there's so many other products that i'm trying to add to the website as the days and weeks to come so there is so much more that i want to add to it so let's get into um this here let gratitude be your attitude let gratitude be your attitude we have so much to be thankful for we're just so blessed and we just need to continue to give god all the praise and all the glory and all the honor so let's read this every day of your life is a gift from god don't squander it don't waste it by being angry with anyone don't let it slip away by feeling sorry for yourself. Be grateful for this precious gift of life and spend it by being as happy and as thankful as you possibly can. Let your mind dwell on the good things which have happened to you. Let gratitude be your attitude. Think of your assets and don't let anyone else spoil your day for you. Enjoy every day of your life to the fullest. Realize that you can add to the joy of each day by making someone else happy. The kind of prayer that helps you get into a peaceful, grateful attitude might be something like this. And I'll read this to you. Father God, help me to be grateful for being alive right now. Help me to realize that no matter what my problems may be, where there is life, there is hope. Help me to think positively and to realize that thousands of miracles are happening every day. Help me to pray and help me to remember the times when prayer brought me peace. Let me be a better listener and not be self-centered. Help me to realize that if I get my mind occupied by helping and cheering up other people, I will be healthier. I will be healthier. Excuse me, let me get this out. I will be healthier than if I were always checking my own pulse. Help me to look for the good in everyone I meet. Let me realize that I cannot change anybody's way of thinking. Only by doing the best I can and setting a good example may I influence someone else to change their behavior. Help me to understand that other people have as much right to their opinion as I do to mine. Let me love myself as I am. Make me realize when I'm not proud of myself, I'm letting my creator, God, down. I must be proud of the body he has given me. You have given me and realized that there is a purpose for every person being different. Let me realize that you, Father, are always with me to guide and comfort me. Let me open my heart and my pores and let your love flow in. Let me accept the peace that you bring and help me to understand that you have a plan and a purpose to everything that happens. Amen. Now, this is a poem that my sister had given me. It's something that we had for years. So I just want to share that with you all. Let gratitude be your attitude. God bless you. Continue to be safe and hope to see you soon. Continue to share and like my videos. God bless.